This short screencast is going to introduce us to Chapter 4, which focuses on triangles and proving triangles congruent. Um, first of all, we need to remember what it means for two triangles to be congruent or for two figures to be congruent. And we know that congruent figures are figures that are the exact same size and shape. So here, if I clone this triangle, we can see that the clone is the exact same size and shape. And it doesn't matter if I rotate it or flip it left, right, up, or down, it's, it's the same shape, the exact same size and shape. Notice here, I've actually shrunk the triangle. This triangle is still the same shape, but it's not the exact same size. All right, so these two triangles are not uh, congruent. They're only what are called similar. So here right now I've got two triangles that are clearly congruent, and I know they're congruent because the corresponding parts here uh, match up. We could see that that angle C matches up with the, the bottom left angle here and angle A matches up with the top angle of the triangle. So let me actually just label these triangles here. Let's call this triangle, uh, let me get a different color here, let's call this triangle big B I G and if I do that I can actually now talk about which parts match up, which corresponding parts match up. For example segment CA corresponds to segment BI. Those would be corresponding parts. And angle C would be congruent to angle B because those are, are corresponding parts as, as well. So I can see the parts that match up and I can actually say triangle CAT, C-A-T, is congruent to triangle B-I-G. It doesn't really matter how I name the first triangle. What matters is that I name the second triangle so the corresponding parts uh, match up. So if I was to name the first triangle, triangle CAT or triangle CAT in a different order, I would need to make sure I name the other triangle in the same way. So for example, if I call this triangle, triangle TAC, I would need to try, call this second triangle, triangle GIB. So one of the things that you, I'm sure you're thinking is, there, is there a way to abbreviate um, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent if we were going to use this as a reason and a proof? Um, and the answer for that is yes, there is a way to abbreviate that, and that is to say CPCTC, that corresponding parts of congruent triangles uh, are congruent. So that's it for this particular lesson. It's very short. Um, these are the questions that you need to answer um, at the tiny URL survey. So you might want to leave this screen up for a minute and write the answers down and then just transfer them um, into um, the survey to answer the questions.